Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy, I'm back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be taking on the Peppy Gal stage of Super Battle Road with the newly awakened Int Rebrian on Global. Here's the team we're going to bring for this run. I think it looks pretty solid. Now, obviously, one glaring omission from this team is the LR, Kale, and Khalifla, which unfortunately your boy was not lucky enough to pull, but let's be honest. If we brought Kale and Khalifla on this event, it would be an absolute joke. So at least with this setup, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I think we'll be just fine, but at least there's going to be a smidge of a challenge as opposed to no challenge at all with the LRs, right? So <laughs> that's my excuse for uh, not bringing the Kale and Khalifla. Not like it's an actual option, but uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Without further ado, here we go. Now, I feel pretty confident about this run, I'll be honest, because previously, we beat this with the free-to-play Rebrian, who was a 100% leader, right? So, now that we have the 120% from the Int Rebriands, it should be that much easier, right? Okay, so we got the transformation right off the bat. So, this unit starts off as Brienne de Chateau, but then she transforms immediately, so she's essentially always going to be the Super Rebrian, which, uh, you know, is not my favorite form, but it's totally fine. It's okay. She's very, very good. That's all that matters. So let's actually put her in the first slot here. I want to see how well she can tank these attacks. And uh, I usually like to pop the Icarus at the beginning of each stage just to be extra safe. So we're going to do that. Let's see how much defense we have. So 98,000 defense from the Rebrian, which is actually really, really good. Obviously, the Khalifla's defense is a little bit lacking, but she ha does have that really high chance of dodge, so um, she makes up for it, you know, in that sense. And we also have the Kefla, who doesn't have any orbs yet, so let's see how we're gonna play this. I think I'm gonna actually leave Khalifla in the middle, just in case she doesn't, uh, you know, get any dodges off, which if you guys have used UI Goku, you know that's definitely a possibility, even with that 70% chance of dodge. And for Khalifla, she can actually get up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 orbs. So she should be actually decently tanky here. So we're going to take a super from Tien. Okay. And we're taking 84 damage. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Yo, even without the LRs, this might still be a joke. Okay, so Tien is sealed now. I actually forgot that Rebrian seals. So, essentially, if we just keep the enemy sealed the entire time, and I mean, their supers are already already doing double digit damage. Granted, we do have the item active, the Icarus active, so it's not always going to be like that. But um, if we can keep the enemy sealed the entire time, then they're only doing normals, and if the normals are barely doing any damage, and we're actually doing a lot of damage to them right now. Like, look at this. Okay, so Tien's already dead. Tien's literally dead. Okay, and we're taking double digits from the normals here. Uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> Yo, it's a good thing I didn't have the Kale and Khalif. Okay, you know what? I sound like a guy in denial right now. Don't get me wrong. I do really want the Kale and Khalif. I'm just saying, like... At least right now, you know, there's somewhat, somewhat of a challenge compared to if I had the best unit in the game. Could you imagine just how stupid easy this event would be, right? So I think after this turn, we're going to be moving on to the second fight. Um, I think Goku's not going to survive all three attacks from these three Peppy Gals here. So over a million from the Tech 18. Uh, she has two dupes, I believe. And, okay, so he's all, almost halfway dead. And then the friend Rebrian here should, yep, get over a million. Man, uh, this stage is a little bit too easy. I mean, to be fair, at the time, we didn't have a lot of these, like, super strong Peppy Gals units um, when the event first came out. So I guess they kind of scaled the difficulty to what we had at the time, which, like I said, was not as crazy as right now. But uh, that being said... That being said, we need a new updated Peppy Gal stage. Maybe like they should. I, th I feel like maybe maybe they should release the old uh, Super Battle Road stages with like 
an added degree of difficulty like super bad road plus or something where we have the old category stages but with like stronger enemies or something like that to be more up to date right i think that would be pretty cool i mean let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below or maybe they should just focus on making new stages for new categories but i don't think it really would take that long for them to just you know scale up the attack and the hp and stuff of the current enemies let me know what you think about that just a random idea i had because uh, this is a little bit too easy a little bit too easy i wasn't expecting much of a challenge but i mean i was expecting a little bit more than this i really was like we literally took two rotations was, was that three actually maybe three rotations to beat the first stage and i expect this one to be somewhat similar uh, we do have three enemies here so it might take us like one or two more rotations um let's put rebrian in the front here because she has the highest defense and i don't even know if i need to item i'm gonna try to no item and see how that goes so with rebrian let's go for i guess gohan why not and then we're gonna keep going for Gohan because we have type disadvantage otherwise. And uh, hopefully we can get her. Ooh, she only gets three orbs. Mm, that might be a bit of a concern. I'm gonna go for Vegeta here with the Kefla. We're gonna try to no item and see how that goes. Okay, so we're still taking double digit damage from normals. And then we can seal Gohan here, so at least we don't have to worry about him supering us. And uh, let's see what will happen if we get supered from Vegeta or Krillin because right now we don't have any items active and I mean if things go well I don't think we'll actually need to like I could probably no item this run I probably could have no item this run maybe I shouldn't have used that item in the beginning just because I feel like I mean I, I could call this a no item run but now that I've used the Icarus because I wasn't really sure what to expect exactly um yeah now I might I mean, that, that's not an option anymore, and I can't, I can't put no item just because I already used the Icarus, so that sucks. That really sucks. I have actually never no item the Super Battle stage. Not that, like, I can't. Not to say, like, it's not a possibility for me. I'm sure there are quite a few that I can no item right now. But uh, I've always been on the more conservative side, you know? I've always tried to, like, play it safe. So, yeah. Um, this is definitely a stage I feel like, even without the Kaelin Khalifla, we could definitely no item you know what i mean okay so we're gonna go for him we're gonna go for the what do you call it a uh, gohan and i think we can probably kill him here and i'll focus on the other guys after so yeah we got the dodge there i knew that if vegeta hit if that hit landed it would have done quite a bit of damage because you know hula is not really known for her defense but uh, she has a very high chance to dodge as well. I think it's like 60% or something like that. So I wasn't too concerned. Okay, there we go. Gohan's dead. We are getting super now. And let's see what this does. 52 damage. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> That's crazy. We're not using... We have no items active. Like, I would have been less shocked if we at least had an Icarus or a Whis or something. But no, man. It's, it's literally just her own defense. And that's it. So let's put this girl here. Uh, we'll keep Rebrianne where she is. And I guess we'll go for Krillin. I don't think it really matters too much, to be honest. We'll give a lot of orbs to the 18, just so she can get some extra attack. And uh, Khalifa can take one orb right there. So yeah, um, this is really, really easy, guys. And as I said in the beginning, you have a lot of different options for this team. If you want to be a little bit more tanky, you could bring that uh, tech Bulma. She does really well here. Um, you could also bring uh, the STR Chi Chi. She's an amazing support, giving the rotation 120% defense. So just making everyone like even more tanky. Um, who else could you bring? Obviously, killing Khalifla. The uh, tech Khalifla is great. The STR Kale is great. Now that I'm thinking about it, this category, if it had a proper leader, like a 150%, 170% leader, it might actually be one of the strongest categories in the entire game. And that's not even a joke. Like, I'm serious. It could be one of the strongest, one of the most busted categories in the game if there was a 150, 170% Peppy Gals leader because some of the passives on these girls, they're just crazy. Like, they're really, really strong. So... 
I'm looking forward to that happening one day. I think the reason they haven't done that yet is because they don't want it to be one of the strongest categories in the game, right? They want to keep it still fairly, like, under control. But uh, one of these days, we will be getting a 150%, 170% Peppy Gals leader, and uh, it's going to become one of the strongest categories in the game, no question. Wow, okay, so he's still not dead. Somehow he's still not dead. I mean, I guess I'll go with Khalifa, or sorry, I'm getting the names mixed up. Gonna go with Rebrianne here. I think she should finish the job. And then we're gonna move on to the next stage. Um, I don't have to item at all, I think, for the rest of this event. You guys probably could just, I think about just about anyone can probably no item this event with no issues, right? Cause uh, they, they, they just don't take any damage, dude. Like these girls do not take any damage. Um, that, that last, at that last stage, I literally did not use a single item. I don't think I took more than like 100 damage. I don't even know if I took 100 damage from anybody, which is just crazy, man. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. I feel like maybe Khalifla might take a bit more. Um, let's actually put Kefla there so that Khalifla can defend against the Yamcha attack. But I think Khalifla might have taken a little bit more if she actually got hit, but um she didn't right she didn't get hit so it's not it, it doesn't even matter okay so who should we go for here i guess we'll go back to roshi since we're gonna start on roshi with the rebrian might as well try to finish him quick okay so we're taking a super 39k there we go okay so that is by far the most damage we've taken so far and it wasn't even that much 39k is just fine and yeah for normal still we're taking double digits this is a joke. This is an absolute joke, guys. This event is so easy. It's way easier than the um, the Ginyu Force stage. And that's supposed to be like the joke, like the free-to-play stage, right? But honestly, I think this stage is actually way easier. Like way easier than the Ginyu Force team. Um, and the Ginyu Force is not bad, actually. If you have, especially if you have the Fizz LR Ginyu, you'll, you'll get through it no problem. Um, but without the Fizz Ginyu, which is what I, you know, tried before, before I had him, because I didn't have enough uh, of the battlefield memories to actually get the medals to awaken him. So before, when the event first came out, I tried to beat it with just the, you know, completely like farmable, free to play um, Ginyu Force members. And that was actually really hard. Like, it's actually really hard without the Fizz Ginyu. But then once you get the LR Fizz Ginyu, it's pretty easy too but that being said I think this stage is actually even easier than that if uh if that's possible so yeah guys um there's not much else to say here we're gonna finish this out pretty quickly uh we're just gonna let's just actually go for Roshi here until he dies and then we're gonna move on to the Oolong and then the Yamcha and that's gonna be the video that's gonna be a video I think this is gonna do it for the Roshi, once we land this attack, yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, so 18's gonna kill him. There we go. And uh, then, you know, we'll maybe need like two more rotations and that's gonna do it. Man, I wish I hadn't popped that Icarus in the beginning. I really do, because as I said, man, this would have been my first no item run. And I can definitely do it with no items. Just based on how this is going, last two stages not using a single item. Um, there's no question in my mind that <laughs> this is an easily no itemed stage. So that's the Dokkan attack. I think the Dokkan attack, if we actually get a crit, is going to finish both of these guys off. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And let's see what she can do. Her attacks that went up to about a million, just under a million. Um, I should have targeted Yamcha, actually, it doesn't matter. Does the Dokkan attack ignore type advantages? I don't remember, actually. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. Doesn't matter. It's over now. Khalifla's gonna finish the job here. Nope, okay, nope. Uh, <laughs> Videl's gonna finish the job here. Too easy, man. The stage, holy crap. Okay, and there you go. 99k, he's dead. 
And we basically no item this stage. I mean, we didn't quite because I had to use that. It's just a habit. I had to use that Icarus because I'm, I'm super conservative when it comes to these things. But uh, we really didn't have to. So we finished in 13 minutes. We used one Icarus. Stupid. And uh, thank you to Songo Chris for your assist right there. And that's gonna do it for today's video. That's gonna do it for the run. Way, way easier than I thought it would be. Um, this injury brand is an absolute beast, by the way, guys. Like, she uh, is definitely the MVP of this team. She did not take any damage. She was sealing the enemy. Uh, she was doing a lot of damage herself. So, uh, yeah, she's great. But the rest of this team is awesome as well. If you guys have LR Kill and Khalif, like, and probably finish the stage and, like, I don't know, 4 minutes or something like that. It took me 13 minutes because I don't have that like crazy damage dealer um, in the Kellen Khalifla. But without them, hey, as you saw, man, it was still pretty damn easy. So that's going to do it for today's showcase, for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Interi Brienne. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.